it, it's just me that I'm fighting against. All, all the stuff that, all the negativity that I felt coming from her, it just reminded me of where I came from. Your mind is just like your body. It's a, a muscle that you can train and you can get better at. Uh, my mantra that I kept saying all week was confidence, condition, composure, content. I'm a champion. I said to stay calm, you know, go through my mantras of, you know, confidence, condition, composure, content, and be a champion. I just kept telling myself, you know, just stay calm. I just said my mantra, like, in, in the fight, wow. which is confidence, condition, composure, content, I'm a champion. Hello. Autosuggestion is a psychological technique related to the placebo effect. It is a form of self-induced suggestion in which individuals guide their own thoughts, feelings, or behavior. The technique is often used in self-hypnosis. The way you think and feel about yourself holds real, physiological changes on the mind and body, which is also confirmed by the placebo effect. It appears Rose has adopted a powerful tool to ensure she is in a good place mentally. A mantra. Confidence. Conditioning. Composure. Content. I'm a champion. She is auto-suggesting herself into a good place mentally, reaffirming her worthiness in that grand stage versus a woman the world deemed invincible. And considering what she was up against beyond that, Joanna Jacek has had a history of psychological warfare attempting to get into the heads of her opponents. She understands the impact a comprised mind has, thus Joanna actively sought to break Rose all the same, even poking at her history. You know what? You are not stronger mentally. You are mentally unstable and you are broken already and I will break you in the fight. But Rose, ice cold, calm, present to the moment, you can see her murmuring her mantra, confidence, conditioning, composure, content. Confidence, conditioning, composure, content, I'm a champion. I am a champion. Over and over, the mantra has become a meditation in and of itself, her version of... From that state, she was positioned to conquer the world. Technique is only half the battle. They are but tools similar to a craftsman's. And if you were to look into the eyes of a master, you would see Rose held that same grace in the arena. I believe this was the first time Ioana fought an opponent like this. The nimble and fluid forward, perhaps inspired by her karate and taekwondo background. The lateral movement, frequent changes in rhythm and cadence. It was no longer a predictable game of her opponent just advancing against her. This was Ioana Jacek, the confident, focused, technical genius. There was nothing wrong with her mentally. She just looked confused at times. A lot of her shots, hitting air. Despite having a half-inch reach over Rose, she was having trouble gauging the distance for her shots. This is because of Rose's footwork. It's like Rose's feet were painting a portrait Ioana's eyes had never seen before. She did not have an experienced dancer to catch her. The human eye has trouble gauging objects moving head on. And so when we pair that with the changing rhythm and lateral movement, when Rose finally decided to commit, Ioana did not see the shot coming until it was too late. And just the way she tapped, signifying she was conscious, her will had broken. She was not just concussed, she was overwhelmed. Joanna did not have an answer for this weird, fluid movement. This dominant victory was only possible because of Rose's mental state. If she was not calm and confident, regardless of what she did, cortisol would have evoked muscle tension, and she would not have that fluid footwork, regardless of how much she drilled it. Literally, a physiological response resulting from mental state. Your mind affects your body. Without calm, she would have her decision-making hijacked by more primitive reason. Thus, she would not be able to pick her shots and adjust her footwork as intelligently as she did in the moment. And with that lead hook, paired with Trevor Whitman as her boxing coach, the calm mental state mitigating cortisol levels, allowing a more fluid kinetic chain, Rose effectively transferred kinetic energy into Joanna's chin. Literally, the more relaxed the muscles are, the more force you can transfer. Volkan Uzdemir highlighting this as well. Sometimes lobbing a punch mere inches, concussing his opponent as a result. The power he generates from that distance is absurd. Bruce Lee attributing the power of his one inch punch to relaxed technique. The more relaxed the muscles are, the more energy can flow through the body. Using muscular tensions to try to do the punch or attempting to use brute force to knock someone over will only work to opposite effect. Meditation, auto-suggestion, and a good circle of supportive people who genuinely wish the best for her. 
All these came together to reinforce her calm focus. Thus, she took her techniques and painted out the reality she wished for. Let this be a reminder. Regardless of how impossible the odds may seem, remain calm and believe you are worthy. For to your surprise, you may find you truly are. Thank you, Rose Namayunis, for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. It's for Gamma. And until next time, peace. It's all just in the moment, in the present moment. I felt like I didn't even have a, any adrenaline. Like usually I have so much more you know, nervous tension and um, I felt really calm in there for some reason.